This is a new category, another one. I started one yesterday, which was called Football Greats in, over in Liverpool with a chap called Jimmy Case. Uh, he gave me a little interview. Um, so this is a new category called Golden YouTubers. I'm here in the, uh, in the Derbyshire Hills and uh, I'm going to introduce you. Well, not introduce you. He, this chap needs no introduction, but uh, he was the person that gave me my break in interviewing. And uh, you may see over there reading a book. It's a very, very beautiful area this is. As I make my way over to Peter for a little chat. I absolutely love some of the sights here. It's getting a bit cloudy, isn't it? But hopefully we'll be okay. Well, I think it's an interesting sky. It is. Yeah. Okay, so this is the gentleman Peter. <laughs> Not too close. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh, it's a fascinating book. Yeah. And of course, I started in 1927, the year I was born, and uh, amazing to see things that happened that I've got no memory of. Lindbergh flies to first fly. Atlantic Solo, Lindbergh's first Atlantic Solo. And that was in 1927? 1927, yeah. Mm. Oh, this is wonderful. Oh, blast, and the Ryder Cup was won by Americans. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that, that's not good. <laughs> oh, this is, a lot more, this is a lot more intimate, this video, than what we did on our, on our first interview. But um, can we just say, because what we're going to do is, I've, I've given you this... Um, you know, or loaned you this book, mm -hmm. which is like, which is the the, um, the 20th century mm. um, chronicle years, like mm. you know, headlines of like basically the century. Mm. You know? Chronicle of the 20th 21st century. century. So, yeah. I'm, 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 so what we're going to do is hopefully in the future or shortly in the future, what we can do is we can you can pick out some stories, mm. and we can maybe sort of uh, I can be over your shoulder and we can be concentrating on some bits yeah. and bobs, which would be yeah. really nice. Yeah, but before we have a little look at that, mm -hmm. just just this. Just this area now. We're in Derbyshire now, aren't we? We are indeed. We are yes. indeed. And like, um, can you tell us a little bit about this scenery we've got in front of us? Uh, it's so beautiful. It Peter. is, isn't it? it yes. Is. Well, uh, it's called Manners Wood mm -hmm. uh, because it is owned by a rich family called Manners. I believe they're Lord Manners, mm -hmm. and uh, it has a golf course on it, which is uh, very hilly, and I've never played it. I think but, I can uh, see it over there, right, actually. You can, yes. I see a bunker. Yep, indeed. Well, we have a golf course here, and um, I'm sure that's very good, although I'm... Uh, uh, too incapacitated now to play golf, but it's called Manners Wood, and uh -huh. um, it's a wood that I've been in riding my motorcycle. There's a lot of awful, lovely tracks through there that you can ride on. Well, not mm -hmm. officially, but I did. And over the hill mm -hmm. is um, is Chatsworth House, which is a very famous uh, um, Chatsworth, very famous house. Uh, Occupied by the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. Okay. Which is a very popular for tourists to come and visit. And um, yes, as you say, it's a very nice place to live. No, it is. It's a pretty part of the world. So, the main focus, I guess, on today, we we're just going to have a little look. Oh, what was that on the previous page? <laughs> there was a lovely looking lady there. <laughs> well, yes. In look, the arts. Look at the costume. But, very uh, risque for its day. Yeah. Monty Ryan singing with Percival McKay's jazz band on the roof of the London Palladium. Oh, that sounds like fun, yeah. Yeah, and of course, here's Duke, uh, Duke Ellington. This was the sort of music that I listened to in my day. Mm -hmm. Duke Ellington and big bands and, oh, terrible, Goodness. boring stuff. <laughs> mm. Anyway, uh, you don't want to um, deal with the book now. This is for a future video, so... Uh, what did you, uh, why have you come to interview me again and um, uh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Straight to the point, aren't you? <laughs> well, well, you're the director, I mean, uh, direct for goodness sake. Yes. No, I just think, um, obviously, like, when, when, when I did uh, our first video, which was in March, I believe, mm -hmm. uh, 2011, 
I was all quite nervous and shy and wanting maybe one or two people to get involved with what I would like or like allow me to allow me to experiment with my interview skills and uh, I sent a video uh, to a load of YouTubers and it was only yourself that got back to me so mm -hmm. I came up there and you gave me the confidence to get started and well, then we, we got going there yeah you know? and let me tell you I think it was a wonderful interview I think your interviewing skills are great and I know they although are although <laughs> <laughs> you're nothing if not modest anyway <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I have been interviewed by many people, and uh, uh, no, honestly, yours was the best, and uh, I thought I put it up on my website because of that, because I, I think it was a very nice interview. And you're also sitting next to me, <laughs> so, you, so you may as well say that. <laughs> no, I've told you before, it was... Uh, I know, no, it's lovely. Yeah. No, well, you know, I, I just think, I like to think I like to give a... A very relaxed approach, you know. Yeah, and I have Towards watched. I have watched all your other interviews as well, and they are equally good. And uh, of course, you have interviewed some what I'd call famous people, particularly. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I know who I. You mean. got to think about that Maybe, one. Yeah, the, <laughs> no. the trumpet player. No, Ben Castle. Yeah, ben Roy Castle. Castle. Roy, Roy Castle. Son. No, yeah. that was lovely. And, that was um, a real I, joy. I know you've done many others, so I, I wish you great success with your uh, project. Well, it's developing really. What? Tell me about your opinion, because um, obviously this isn't talks on the tube now. This is our planet diaries, and the reason why I I started a new channel was because. Um, I needed more creative freedom. I think with the, with the uh, with the YouTubers thing, I'm 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 going to be straight to the point. Not all YouTubers were as friendly as I thought they'd be. Really? Uh, yeah, and the popular ones. Right. Uh, there was okay. even one YouTuber who got funny with me about giving me their phone number. Oh dear. You know, yeah. let's do an interview. Let's do an interview. But when it came to giving me the phone number, they got all. I see. Yeah. I see, and yeah, which I just couldn't quite understand. Well, but... they probably didn't trust you not to spread it around. I suppose. Uh, I mean. Uh... It is very difficult giving out email addresses and phone numbers. You have to have a great deal of trust in the person you are entrusting it to. And uh, yeah, if some so. of these YouTubers were very popular people, they certainly wouldn't want others uh, you know, having their phone number. So I can understand that, but perhaps they could have put it more politely. Yeah, they could so. have given you a mobile phone number, which wouldn't matter. Anyway, never mind. So no, but I, I guess probably over a period, because it, it was early days then, and so maybe mm -hmm. over a period of time. Because I think as the more videos you do and the more people get involved with your work, I suppose the more trust you're going to, you're going to gain, I suppose. Ooh. Well, I would think we've got so. some, We've got some girls there bringing out the horse. Yes, that's, um, that's the girlfriend of the uh, son of the farmer, and uh, she uh, has her horse there. Uh, I don't know which one It's a she beauty, is, isn't it? Uh, yes. yes. Um, and, uh, anyway, I better stop filming. It looks like you're kind of like filming people behind their back, which isn't very yes, good. Yes, uh, yes, it is difficult. I mean... Oh, they're letting, they're letting the horse by, go by itself now. Oh, yes, so can, uh, yes, can... it just grazes out in the field. Oh, yes. that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't know why it's got either blue boots on its front feet or its front hoofs painted blue. Um, it might be some veterinary thing, or you'd certainly recognise it if it got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that we were going to talk about was, um, like I said to you on this channel, it, it gives me a chance to express, and I I've, I've obviously done a lot of filming around the world with like lots of... God, he says so modestly, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm so full of myself, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, if you have, you have. No, but it makes yeah. me sound very conceited. But like, <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't. But anyway, carry on. <laughs> no, but like, it's your uh, show. <laughs> <laughs> this is golden YouTubers, and you are my debut. Believe me, Peter. There's not going to be many golden YouTubers on this on my channel. Um, right. But that, but I was. Uh, does that make you feel flattered? Yes. <laughs> Unless you're taking the Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm going in the direction. Um, on the channel, people might see uh, along the along the lines of developing actors, and I've been roped into interviewing women footballers. All right, which I really enjoy. I went to go and see uh, um, in the Olympics, Team GB against Brazil, mm -hmm. and there were seventy-five thousand people at Wembley, and it reminded me 
it was almost like there was an innocence to the game. It was like the way the, the, the men's game used to be played. Mm. Um, and the, the girls seemed so grateful for being on the pitch, what they were doing, you know, they were them playing. And they were taking photographs of, of, the, of, the, of the Wembley turf. Because it, it seemed like they, they, they knew they were never going to be there again. That's right. Yeah, yeah so like, it meant a lot to them. And when, yeah. and when they scored, they were rolling around each other like wrestlers. Mm. Yeah. And, and even though mm. they both qualified, they, they, and it just seemed such a beautiful event. So therefore, I went down to Gillingham. And I've, so far, I've uh, interviewed three Gillingham girl players, which are going to be on my channel soon. Um, mm -hmm. I've got Natalie... I've got um, Danielle and I've got Jay, uh, mm -hmm. and but, but I've been in touch with the Liverpool Football Club's ladies, and I apparently might be getting one or two of their players as well. Wow. So this is a snowball that could, you know, it's a snowball that could start to roll and develop. So well, I hope so. I hope so, Richard, for your sake. And uh, with regards to the women's football, I, I must confess I'm not a football fan. I don't even, I've never actually been to a live football match and I don't watch it on the television, but mm -hmm. of course I did watch the Olympics and I too was very impressed with, uh, you know, their attitude to the game because what little bit of football I've seen, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I think it's beautiful, so I love they, it. Uh, the men, they have they dive and they do professional fouls and they don't just play football it's the whole thing is a different sort of game so i too was impressed by the women yes yeah, so yeah. good luck to you it was so sporting as well and so you know there's no kind of fights with the managers or owners taking over the clubs or owners picking the teams ahead of the managers which i think destroys which can like destroy the game um but like oh it's all right. He's yes. only curious as to who we are. He hasn't seen us again. Or what I am. He's sniffing the air now <laughs> to see if we're friendly or oh, not. Really? Good boy. <laughs> he made a gallop there. I thought he was going to come and get us. That's hardly a gallop, but I know <laughs> what you mean. <laughs> a slow canter. <laughs> no, so like, um, I'm just hoping that it'll be, a, it'll be a, a snowball that will develop because they were telling me uh, almost every, like, person in that field in the women's football were saying that the media don't really want to know so therefore if there's any independent filmmakers who are concentrating on those kind of things then they seem really grateful you know yes well of course uh, i think women's football will become more popular because so. of their exposure at the olympic games but um, there's always money involved and is it worthwhile a television company paying them a lot of money to promote them but it depends very much on their manager, I think, how bullish he is and uh, what he can do about yeah. it. But uh, The England manager's Hope Powell, a girl called Hope Powell. Oh, yeah. And right. uh, I, I saw an interview with her quite recently and she was actually saying that, uh, you know, uh, she was basically saying what the chairman of Gillingham said, that they just need, they've got a great platform, but they just need more exposure. Mm. And that's what they need to do. So if I can help out a little mm. bit in that category. Well, YouTube, YouTube is the place these days. Do you I think mean, so? Well, it's the platform that everybody uses. Uh, I mean, you and I know of people on YouTube who have become uh, very famous, very rich, very prosperous. Uh, I generally look at uh, young people making music videos mm -hmm. and... Uh, they, they're such wonderful performances and the years I've been watching them I've seen them go from doing their music in their bedroom to performing at gigs and um, uh, it's, it's a wonderful platform mm. which uh, well everybody uses so I would think the manager of the women's football mm -hmm. uh, would be very well advised to um, get something up on YouTube about it. I think it's a good idea also. I, I, over this last year, year and a bit, doing these interviews and things, I've started to learn also. I, I, I guess I was quite na naive when I came into it, but I'm learning now that if you're hoping to sort of make a, li a living from YouTube, it's quite a tall order, and it is. And, well, but it's also a platform where you can email your videos to companies yeah. and show what you do or you can sh you can email them to production companies yeah. or what have you and just say hey this is a little bit of my work rather than relying on 
viewing figures and subscribers and what have you because like yeah. you know there's great stuff on on youtube as you know yeah. which doesn't get much recognition oh absolutely probably in the majority i'd say well, i'd probably the, say the best pieces of youtube are the people are the, are the ones that are less are the least viewed well yes that is as the situation is is now uh, those people who have become very popular are very those I know are very nice young people and I follow them and I'm very pleased that they make a very, very good living from it. But mm -hmm. uh, the, the ordinary blogger like me, um, you know, is of no consequence anymore and um, that doesn't bother me particularly because I, in a way, like in a way having fewer viewers in that I feel those people who do watch are people who watch because they want to and not just click on a video because somebody is in the popular field, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, a, it's a wonderful place for all sorts of people and uh, certainly those people who promote their music and they make records, I, I mean, they do sell a hell of mm -hmm. a lot of them without having to go through sort of managers and studios and things to promote them Themselves, so yeah. I, th I think it's wonderful and i'm very pleased that you know i was there at the start at the very beginning year, well almost yeah. at the beginning and have seen it grow and um, and do you remember what you said to me in our, on our first interview when i said to you how would you like to be remembered do you remember what you said you're going to remind me <laughs> you said as the old git that started it all did I say something you like that? You said that. I'm the old git that started it <laughs> You all. did. In our interview, which is going to be underneath this, this video, that's what you said, and I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Well, no, but then you see, it's all very well you as an interviewer. <laughs> an interviewee, you keep asking all sorts of rubbish questions <laughs> and you keep phrasing them so I'll get myself into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, perhaps I should have said, well, I was very pleased that I was in it in the early days. <laughs> and also at the end, you, you had to like say to me, what shall I do? Shall I shake your hand or shall I kiss you? <laughs> well, that was a choice. I think we settled for shaking of hands, didn't we? <laughs> I'm sitting a lot closer now than I was then <laughs> today. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> a bit too close. <laughs> <laughs> and just to remind, just for our viewers, um, we had lunch today. Or both of them. <laughs> right. We had lunch today. You had your soup. I did, yes. And what soup was it? God, I can't remember. It was very nice. <laughs> and it was all artistic because it had cream swirled around the top, you know, and it had some croutons in it. And it was very nice. And, um... Yes, <laughs> Bl bloody expensive, but very nice. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? And, and what about that bloke who was playing the piano all the time? <laughs> Don't mention any names. <laughs> well, we th I thought it was a recording at first. <laughs> no, I, I knew it wasn't a recording with so many mistakes. Yeah, but you've got that ear, though, haven't you? you know. <laughs> well, I, I thought it was terrible. But you can pick up music, probably. You've got a better ear for music than probably a lot of people. Oh, uh, well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so, no, it was a very nice lunch, wasn't it? Yes, it was very good, and... Uh, I've enjoyed your company no. so far. <laughs> For the moment. No, I'm, I'm actually up seeing my sister, my beloved sister, and uh, her husband and my niece and two nephews. So it's, it's lovely to be up in this part of the world. Mm. But just, just to close with now, Peter, um, mm. what, uh, what, what, the date I think today is September the 9th, 2012. Mm -hmm. um, not, not 1928, but like it's like no, 2012. Well, you're, you're looking at some headlines there from 1928. I am, yes. <laughs> so you know, no, but like, um, any what what um what 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 plans have you got for the next two or three months? Anything, anything going on at all? Anything exciting going on? No, nothing particularly exciting. I uh, I done an interview recently with um, a company called Voice Media Incorporated, and I've got another request from a person who. Apparently used to work in the BBC. I guess he's now just another YouTuber or independent who wants to do an interview. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, no life just goes on in the same mundane way. So uh, I haven't got any plans. I mean, at my age, you don't plan beyond the next day. I don't plan now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, bec that's because you're an irresponsible youth. <laughs> Excuse me, I said earlier, a young man, and you said, young man! <laughs> well, every, everybody's young to me. 
No, okay. I'll, I'll tell your viewers, he's not young. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's just in his midlife crisis. This is why he's... Uh, <laughs> With these legs? <laughs> Okay. Well, I was a bit embarrassed when we went into that posh hotel, I thought, you know... And I went in with some shorts on. <laughs> there's all, all these ladies there in Beautiful there. little waitresses. You can't disagree with that. Uh, no, they weren't very efficient, but they, they were quite nice looking, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, right, well, this is um, the end of uh, Golden YouTubers, but... Oh, the Olympics, 1928 in Amsterdam. Awesome. No, isn't it amazing? They'll go on for hundreds and hundreds of years, the yes, Olympics film. Yes, I will enjoy this book. Uh, yeah, and I'm glad. Term. No, so that's the plan, yeah. So what we'll do is, um, the next video, the next time I'm up in this part of the world, we'll be looking at some stuff. We're going to be, we're going to be pin-picking some stuff out in this book. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be standing over you like so. And you can be telling us little stories of stuff that you remember. Yes, that And that be, sounds yeah. like a really awesome video. So that's okay. really, really well, cool. Well, yes, I'll, I'll go along with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because I'm in the sort of uh, 1920s, 30s, I'm sure there'll be lots of things that will, uh, I will remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, I'll I'll uh, start backtracking and uh, moving further away, and uh, you give us a wave goodbye. <laughs> I don't want to fall over. <laughs> you take care. The man himself. Take care, my friends, and see you soon.